everyone, this is Letcast Studios. Today we will be unboxing the Kodak ZI8 HD Pocket Camcorder. This camcorder shoots in high definition at up to 1080p. And it comes with Kodak's built-in electronic image stabilization technology. And runs on PC and Macintosh. So let's get straight into the unboxing. If I didn't mention it before, the camcorder also shoots 5 megapixel still images and can support a 3.5 millimeter external microphone, which is why I chose it in the first place. As you open the box, you will notice the camcorder right off the back. There's these little tabs to pull it out of the box. And let's just pull the Kodak Z8 out of its packaging and go over its specifications. Um, the camcorder comes with a 2.7 inch widescreen display. On the side, you will see the power button as well as an SD card slot to store all your files and clips, compatible with SD cards of up to 32GB in capacity. I'm just going to use an 8GB SD card to uh, record up to 2 hours of 1080p video. On the other side, you will see the mini HDMI out as well as the AV out to plug into your televisions, SD for AV and uh, HD for your HDMI TVs. At the top, you'll see the external mic input for your external microphones and the DC charger input. On the front, there are four buttons, one for the settings, one for the delete and uh, record and playback buttons, as well as a little dongle to change different options and settings. And at the bottom, you'll see a little mount for your uh, tripod so that you can uh, you know, record without any shakiness versus uh, recording with your hands. Uh, putting that aside, you will see all the accessories that Kodak includes with the uh, camcorder. What I like about Kodak is how they include every uh, cable that you would ever need for the camcorder so that you don't have to go and buy it later on, uh, which is very handy. The first thing we're going to go over, however, is the user manual. Uh, this is a very handy manual so that you can uh, you know, learn about all the things that the camera comes with as well as all the features and how to change different settings and uh, set up all the different modes and uh, plug it into your television and it comes in uh, different languages so that's very handy. Let's just put that aside. Depending on your country, uh, where you got this from, I got this in the US so it's going to come with a US adapter. So you can see just plug that into your outlet and here's the uh, charger right here where you just plug the adapter in and it comes just plugging at the top as you can see it fits right just like that just slide it in and uh, at the bottom you'll see the USB um, output to plug into your outlet here's the battery that the camera comes with the lithium ion rechargeable battery and uh, here is the uh, 2.5 millimeter AV cable that you can plug one side into your uh, television and one side into your camcorder 2.5 goes right there, and AV cable goes into your standard definition television. It also comes with the uh, HDMI cable, where you can plug into your uh, HD display or your you know flat screen or whatever supports your HDMI, plugs into your television, and the other side plugs into your camcorder, the mini HDMI. That's what I love about uh, Kodak again is how they include everything, and it just fits like that. Um, the next thing, or the uh, last thing, is the DC uh, charger, where you plug one part into USB, right there into your charger, and the other side into your camera, or your uh, camcorder, to charge your uh, battery. And uh, you can also plug that into your PC, I think, but uh, if you can't, then it also comes with the USB um, included inside of the cam camera itself. Let's just put the battery inside of the camcorder. The thing is about this battery is the fact that uh, it doesn't you don't have to put two AA batteries in the uh, HD camcorder like you do in the flip cam camcorders. So that's very nice. Uh, let's just turn this on. And the first thing you'll notice is the options that it gives you where you want to shoot in uh, 1080p, 720p by 60 frames, 720p by 30 frames, WVGA, and also the camera option to shoot your 5 megapixel still images. Now let's just uh, put the uh, cover back on and on the back you'll see a red LED light indicating that you were recording so that's handy. And uh, let's just pull the sticker off. Um, 
Another thing I forgot to mention about the uh, camcorder is the fact that it uh, it doesn't have a matte finish. It has a glossy finish, so it will pick up all those fingerprints that you leave on it, and you'll have to clean it up constantly. As you can see, the playback button, record button, uh, delete button to delete all those uh, you know files if it's taking up too much space, as well as the settings button to change different settings and options like volume and so on and so forth. So let's just turn this uh, camcorder off. At the top you will see the uh, switch where you can change from landscape mode to macro mode. As you can see the webcam is zooming to macro mode where you can see the different um, details the, of things up close and landscape is the opposite obviously where you can see things from afar. Um, Let's just pull the AV cable out of its packaging. Um, the last thing I forgot to mention is that it comes with a uh, wristband, which is handy for when you're recording, and you the, you know the camcorder slips out of your hand, you won't drop it because you have the wristband on. So that's cool. Um, I guess that's about it for this unboxing. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. This is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching.